In this part of the tutorial, Blender's interface is introduced. Top bar includes menus and predefined workspaces, which we will use later. Context-sensitive selection of commands is available when right-clicking on an object. Blender's properties can be adjusted from Edit, Preferences. Blender uses middle mouse button and keyboard numpad. The input section has options to emulate them. The current configuration of a Blender file can be saved as a new startup file in File menu, Defaults, Save Startup File. Default factory settings can be reloaded. To reload the startup file, choose File, New, General. Help provides a link to a series of highly recommended short tutorial videos about Blender's most fundamental tools and concepts. In the center of the interface is the 3D viewport, showing the objects. Side tool panels open and close by pressing T and N. On the right is Outliner. In default mode it shows the objects on the scene. Outliner can show all data blocks belonging to Blender's current database. The eye icon controls the visible of the objects in the viewport. Another useful filter hides objects from final renderings. This is the camera icon in filter menu, restriction toggles. Below Outliner are Properties panels. Properties of the data blocks can be adjusted here. The panels available depend on which object is selected. Below 3D viewport is the timeline for animations. On the bottom is the status bar. Right-click shows available status options. Objects are selected by left-clicking or by dragging. Objects are added to selection by shift-left-clicking or by shift-dragging. The last selection becomes the active object and is shown in brighter color. Many actions in Blender use the active object as a reference. Shortcut A selects all. Alt A unselects all. Basic object transformations are usually done with shortcuts. Move is G, as in grab. Left click to accept the move. While moving, press escape to cancel. Transformations can be limited to an axis or a plane. To move along Z axis press G and then Z. To move on XY plane, press G and shift Z. Rotate is R, pressing R R twice evokes a different rotational mode. Scale is S. Undo is Ctrl Z and redo is Shift Ctrl Z. To add an object to scene, choose from Add menu or press shortcut Shift A. Delete objects by pressing the Delete key. Objects are added at the 3D cursor. To place the cursor by left-clicking, switch to Cursor Mode at the left toolbar. Context-sensitive menu has Snap option to move the cursor to the selected object, or the other way round. Rotate the scene by pressing and dragging with the middle mouse button. Pan the scene by Shift Middle Mouse Button. Zoom by Control Middle Mouse Button, or by rolling the mouse wheel. Numpad 1 is the front view, Numpad 3 is the side view, and Numpad 7 is the top view. 5 toggles perspective and orthographic view. 0 toggles camera view on and off.